What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and another video. Today we're going to be using titanium white, cerulean blue, thalo blue. I have a cadmium red DPU and a dark magenta here. And we're going to be using two different caps to this little screw cup. Now, I, after doing a whole bunch of printing, I'm probably not going to be just producing these to sell. So if you want me to put the files to these somewhere in the description where you can download them, that would be be fine with me because yeah just going through the whole process of trying to sell them i think would be counterintuitive it'd be really difficult to produce them enough to where i could get them to you guys so i just put the single hole in this time so it's just going to let out a nice stream and the first thing i want to do is kind of just layer through the colors. I want to see what happens when I do that. It is creating some really, really beautiful rings going on down there. I'm sure you guys can't quite see it yet, but my goodness, really fine lines. Super fine lines. Love that. You can see the, the paint just starting to drip through on its own. You can even watch it from the top as it's kind of just whirlpooling down onto the surface. I'm just gonna keep alternating this dark and light. Ooh, and if I pour directly over the top, it kind of, it disturbed it. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's really interesting, actually. So, we need a little more white. Oh, all these paints are mixed. Two parts pouring medium to one part paint. I wanted it to have a good fluid consistency to be able to escape this cup well. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this drip all the way down. I'm gonna take that and take the cap off of it and replace it and then go and just do a few drips of the red, magenta, and white in the center just to kind of see what kind of interesting designs we can get out of this. And right now the paint's just streaming out still. It is starting to become a drip. <clears throat> One drip, and it dripped. And I'll move it out of the way. For me, I'm gonna take this lid, unscrew it, and just put it in the water. Take and wipe out these other colors so they don't contaminate the rest. I don't want it to kind of contaminate the colors in this one. So now set that on top, and it's just a, a process here. I'm not going to do a whole lot of this, but just a little, just enough to where it'll leave some really interesting little drips. I'm going to let these continue to just flow out of the cup until they're about to stop. And then I'll be able to pick this one up too and move it. All right. Drip. There's a lot more drips this time. One more drip. All right. Woo, we got them. We didn't even use that much paint of the other color, really. Now I'm lifting the 
this up and away. And that goes into the water too. Well, that's cool looking. All right. Let's see what we can do. Hmm? Oh, yeah. That's cool looking. I like that. Now we should still have those really nice defined lines from those other cups. There we go, I think that is looking pretty good. Very excited to stretch it because it's gonna have that beautiful uh, color difference between that really nice red and the um, very light blue to white very excited. All right, let's center this. Set the tool down. I mean, I think that's about as centered as we need it, really. And just a light spin. Enough to get some kind of coverage across the canvas. Oh my goodness. That is gorgeous. Wow. We have one over here that needs to be covered, but I'll just drip some on it there. Just a really, really light spin just to flatten everything out. That looks so nice. Like, I don't know exactly what it is that it reminds me of, but it reminds me of something like a poinsettia almost, kind of. Let's go through and touch up these sides over here. Make sure we got good coverage on all four sides. All right, let me get you guys down here and check this thing out. I'm in love with this thing. Now we still have them really fine lines going throughout it from the Kind of the one whole drip and then I don't know those things are like some of the most realistic looking pe pe like petals that I've ever painted with an acrylic pour before so that's super cool If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.